hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back it is a packing video today but i have never done a packing for a cold or ski trip and so that's what i'm up to i have the packing list going already and some things that i have to do before we leave normally when i pack for tropical things it's like shove a bunch of swimsuits and some cute dresses this is pretty different and also living in florida i'm just not used to it so yeah as always my favorite packing tips are packing cubes and having bags to put everything in it keeps you so organized and it's so much easier when you pack that way to repack once you're on the trip and then unpack when you get home i love it so much then the reusable containers which i've talked about a few times these are the ones i use they're silicone and good for the environment good to use like your good products while you're still traveling the third tip would just be nice luggage which honestly i didn't use nice luggage for years this is is unnecessary but I will say packing with nice luggage is such a more seamless process when all the zippers work well and it carries well one tip that I need to take and I just have not done yet is getting the scale to put on your bag because every single time I'm stressed out if I'm at 50 pounds so that would be a good thing and honestly I might order it on Amazon but it wouldn't come before this trip let's just get into the packing I'm pulling out everything and I need to look up inspo photos. Now I'm going to take a break, get on Pinterest, and try to inspire myself. Are you also struggling? I'm struggling a lot. I have started pulling everything out of the closet and I have like a pretty good pile of sweaters, but I just looked at my Instagram and this sweater is tired. I love it so much and it just goes with all of the winter vibes, but I literally think I've posted four photos in it, so it might have to stay behind. I don't know. I just don't really envision myself being cute much of this trip. I think I'll be cozy or like needing waterproof stuff. So I'm wondering if five sweaters is too much. Then pants. I just put together some really comfy things and one pair of jeans. I wonder if I'll even wear the jeans at all. Then I have some jackets. So I'm just trying to like put outfits together but it's not as much as when I'm going on a trip and I want to wear fashionable stuff because then I like take mirror photos of all the outfits whereas this one I'm kind of like what is freaking warm and going to be cozy. My toiletries are always a fave because it means I get to use a bunch of my little bags. This is what I've been using as my makeup bag. It's from Erin Made and it has like that material where things can't leak in there and then it has these little pouches that I put my makeup brushes in. Next up I need to refill my bottles. Conditioner, shampoo, and face wash which are all running low so those reusable bottles that I was talking about I'll just use big bottles to fill them. I got all of my toiletries in here. It is shampoo, conditioner, body wash, dry shampoo, hairspray, lotion, moisturizer, daytime moisturizer, debronzy, eye cream, body wash, skincare, toothpaste. I feel like that's a ton of stuff in this little bag and I can see everything, which I really love. And I have all of my makeup in here. What's left is like if I want any hair tools or like hair ties and that type of stuff. So I'm gonna make a little bag and put that in here. Also my deodorant, but I don't like to pack that until the day of, so. Now looking at my shoes and I'm going to bring my like Doc Martin Chelsea boots because they would just be cute for like cute outfits. I can't even hold them. They're so heavy. And then I've had these shoes since I was I think 13. I like splurged on them with my babysitting money and I literally never wear them but they are so comfortable. They're the LL Bean boots but I just looked it up and they're not waterproof. So that means I don't have any waterproof boots. So is that horrible of me? that these are going to be my snow boots now i'm sad i don't want my feet to be cold no what i'm worried about is that i'll wear them once in the snow and then they'll get wet and then the next day it's like a cold wet leather boot but i'm gonna have to do it so that sucks I forgot that even though it will be freezing, I'm bringing swimsuits because there's a hot tub at the Airbnb. So I got this one from Jean Ash and I love in the winter time wearing suits that almost look like winter colors. 
and then this triangle sparkly one is so pretty and it kind of looks like Christmas colors so I'm packing those two. I have to make sure that I bring my jewelry box. This one is from Jack Maria and I'll link it in the description because it keeps everything so organized and it's perfect for a trip. So I just loaded up some of my current faves, a lot of little dainty pieces, but packing this one up as well. Okay, honestly, this is giving me comfort. We have coats, sweaters, pants, comfies and like thermals, scarves and socks, uh, beanies, I think. And then all of my little toiletry makeup vitamin bags over here. And it's all gotta fit in there, but we have it all laid out. I just called Josh and told him that my like boots aren't waterproof and he's actually at a shoe store right now and said these Columbia boots are on sale. So he may be bringing those back for me. And if that's the case, that will save me because I was getting a little bit worried about that. Now time to crack these open and get the packing cubes out. I feel like packing cubes are 100% such a space saver when you are going to like warm weather places because you can cram so much stuff in there. But I wonder if they're going to be as much of a space saver with the mass of items. I guess we will see. are from Colombia and they have pink laces they're so cute so I am very happy that I don't have to freeze my feet in the snow now I have not shown you it's my ski suit and yeah I can't wait to wear this I've never worn a ski suit before so I just threw that in there with some other things so I'll show you an update on the suitcase but it has my trench coat a fluffy coat my North Face puffer and all of my sweaters and this beautiful thing. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put my ski goggles yet, so maybe those will go in the carry-on, maybe they'll go in here. So this is the other side, and then that's the one that I already showed that just literally has the packing cubes and jackets. I feel like we are making good progress, so on to the carry-on, and I like to start with shoes because I feel like those are the hardest to get in there. I'm feeling a little bit weirded out because I have not even filled these up and I haven't even done my backpack yet. But I'm like, hmm, none of my bags feel stuffed. And these are just some things I threw there in case I wanted to bring like a little tote or a little purse. And then here's the carry-on. This side is not even stuffed at all. And then this side has these things which aren't stuffed and then a whole other room here. My only other thought is I was planning on wearing my Doc Martens, which I hate wearing in the airport because they're heavy and they're hard to take off, but I might put those in my carry-on now with the knowledge that I have a lot of room. Okay, the Docs fit in here, but not with this, so now this is gonna move to the other side. Okay, here is this side, makeup, toiletries, tripod. I have my hair curler and jewelry under there, so I think this side is about done unless I wanted to stick something in there. What? I need help. <laughs> Show me the issue. It's like, they all work, and I don't know what to bring. Okay, you're probably just sad because you never get to wear a sweater. It is true. All right, yes to the gray one because I love it. Yes to the Christmas sweater. The neutral goes with everything. Cardigan is a no because it provides no warmth and it's a second layer. I know, it's gorgeous but I feel like the Christmas sweater is doing the same. Brown is a yes because it's a hoodie and it layers and we need to decide about the gray. All right, follow me. Oh, wow. No, you had the room and the office. Okay. No, you have the room. What <laughs> well, the heck are you talking about? So, 
Okay, I did not expect this. You're bringing cuter outfits than me. You're not bringing two of basically the same pairs of khakis. Okay, that is true. So we go for a warmer tone, a more lumberjack vibe. That's what you've been leaning towards. But I just don't think you're gonna wear this much nice outfits. Like you either need to bring this or the green one. I'll have to choose off camera. I can't make that decision right now. <laughs> okay, taking a break from packing because it is time to go get my nails done. <laughs> I just pulled up to get my nails done and this whole ride I've been debating if I want to do just red nails for Christmas or do like green sparkly because that will look good for Christmas and New Year's. I feel like I'm leaning more towards that. The only reason that it's making me want to do red is the fact that if I don't do red now, like I won't do it again. Kind of leaning towards green. I went with the red nails. I'll show you a better close up once I get into some better lighting, but there wasn't a good green sparkle. So I just figured red was the way to go and I'm headed back to the house now. Unfortunately, I did get red nail polish on my Jerf sweatshirt and my favorite Jerf pants. So I'm really hoping that it comes out. I made it home and obviously had to change my clothes because I'm attempting to get out the red nail polish. But the last thing on the packing agenda is the carry-on backpack and this is a Lululemon one. First thing I put in there is my electronic bag. I keep my film camera, camera batteries, and then chargers, which I'll put in the morning. Next up is kind of a flight bag. So in here I have an eye mask, a face mask, little white things, and then a mini deodorant. Also a mini perfume, which looks like it's on its last leg. Next up is a medicine bag, and in here I just keep the little things which you could always need. Dayquil, NyQuil, Pepto-Bismol, cough drops, Tums, Advil, and then I actually threw some tea bags in there, but I think I might throw in some more because I've really been on a tea kit. Then this is just a little period bag. I may start my period when I'm there, so I like to have some stuff with me because I've been on plenty enough trips where I don't have anything and it sucks. Now for electronics, my iPad in this case, and it goes in the laptop sleeve. Normally I stick like three books in here, but now I have my Kindle, which instead of a Kindle case, I've been keeping it in this Glossier bag. Then my AirPod Maxes, they have their little case. For this trip, I'm gonna have my Pippa Packable Puffer Jacket from Free People. It's so cute and so nice that I can use it as a pillow or when I get off, I know it's gonna be freezing. And then last up, I will wear this bag to the airport. It's my Thread Wallets crossbody. And so I'll just wear it, but if they make me put it in my bag, it also fits into there. All right, the bag is packed. I'll just stick my water bottle and my chargers in the morning and that is it. Here we have the outfit for tomorrow and backpack, my carry-on luggage and the full suitcase. So everything is good to go. Thank you so much for helping me pack for this cold weather. Stay tuned for next video. Go and like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.